And here's an example of how to find the kinetic energy of a very fast moving object. In this case, we're going to take a proton. Let's say that the proton is being accelerated in one of those big accelerators to a speed of 0.99 C or 99.9% .9 of the speed of light. What would be the kinetic energy of such a proton? Well, the kinetic energy for relativistic velocities is equal to the difference between the total energy of a particle minus the rest mass energy of a particle. And the total energy of a particle is equal to mc squared, while the rest mass energy is m sub naught c squared. Rest mass energy means the energy it has when it's at rest, when the mass is simply equal to the mass of the object at rest. And uh, first of all, we can factor out a c squared, so this becomes m minus m sub naught times c squared. And of course, since m is equal to 1 over, or not 1 over, but... Um, is equal to m sub naught, the rest mass energy, divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, which is equal to gamma times m sub naught. I can plug that in here and say this is equal to gamma times m sub naught minus m sub naught times c squared. And of course, we can also factor out the m sub naught. So this is equal to gamma minus 1 times m sub naught c squared. So the kinetic energy simply becomes the rest mass energy times gamma minus 1, where gamma is equal to 1 over 1 times the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. So let's figure out what gamma is equal to in this case. And I always get ahead of myself, it's 1 over that, 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. So this is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus 0.999c. Take that squared, divided by c squared. Of course, the c cancels out with that. And then uh, my calculator will let us know what gamma is equal to, so 0.999. Subtract that, oh no, first we got 0.999, we first have the squared, then subtract that from 1, then take the square root, and then take the inverse of that. And so it turns out that gamma is equal to 22.366. If you plug that in here, this is equal to 22.366 minus 1 <clears throat> times the rest mass of a proton, that is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. And we multiply that times the speed of light squared, so that would be 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, and uh, that would be squared. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first calculate this, and I'm going to calculate this separately because this will actually give us the rest mass energy of a proton. So this is equal to 21.366 multiply times that. So what's that equal to? 3e to the 8, we square that, multiply times 1.67e to the 27 minus equals. That's better. So it would be 1.503 times 10 to the minus 10. That would be joules, of course. So kinetic or energy would be in joules. And uh, we're going to convert that to electron volts in just a moment. So let's do that here. So the um, m sub naught c squared of a proton is equal to 1.503 times 10 to the minus 10 joules. And if I now multiply this times uh, 1 electron volt per 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, we can convert that amount into electron volts. So divide that by 1.602 e to the 19 minus, and that gives us uh, 938 million or MeVs. So quite often the rest mass energy of small atomic particles is uh, expressed in terms of million electron volts. In this case, for a proton, if you take a proton and complete, completely convert energy, you get 938 million electron volts worth of energy out of that, which is equivalent to 1.503 times 10 to the minus 10 joules. If we now multiply this times that, so again, I'm going to multiply that times 1.602e to the 19 minus. We get this back. Multiply it times 21.366 equals. So this would be equal to 3.211 times 10 to the minus 9 joules. And uh, hmm, if I then divide that by 1.602e19 minus, if we convert it to electron volts, this would be equal to uh, looks like 20.0 GeVs or giga electron volts. 
So a proton that's been accelerated to 0.999, oh, 0.99 C, one too many nines, um, it will have so much kinetic energy that the kinetic energy is equivalent to more than 20 times the rest mass energy. So, so in, in electron volts, it's 20 giga electron volts. Just to get a feel of how we calculate the relative physics energies of objects like protons and neutrons and alpha particles, things like that, that get accelerated very fast in accelerators, we, that is how we find the kinetic energy of those objects.